uh, welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome if you're returning from two weeks ago welcome i'm really happy you're tuning in again yeah i've been dying to have like a kind of something like crisscrossy lacing thing in my wardrobe but the issue i have is whenever i go to the like shops to buy stuff the crisscross things like the do I keep calling them crisscross things? The list of like tops and stuff, they're so deep, like their necks are so deep, and I'd have to show like so much like skin and stuff. So uh, very annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so I decided to try making my own stuff and I actually enjoyed it and it was very easy, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, so they have like this tool for doing this, this, and then obviously like the button stuff and here. But it was very easy and I honestly really loved doing it. Um, in terms of what, what advice would I have to give? If you want to do it like this, uh, make sure you're using a fabric that is quite light. Um, I think it gives the dress so much movement and so much freedom in the way it moves and everything. Um, you can use like proper like um, wax and carapods. I think the movement will not be as lush as if you use something quite soft. So if you have any like satin, any like silk, you know, like definitely you can do something like this. And also it's so comfortable. Like it's not restricting. I can't raise my hands. I can't, you know, like if I need to. <laughs> but like, I don't fight. <laughs> but I'm just saying, uh, you know, you have a lot of movement in the dress. So, which is always a good thing um yeah and i really hope you enjoyed that video it's just okay what i made and yeah it was really fun for me and everything so yeah stay tuned next week i'm releasing another style well in two weeks i release videos every two weeks thank you so much for watching this video and i would see you guys next two weeks <laughs> bye